Hey there, this is Jonathan Aguilar, and today I'm going to share with you um, a little Facebook marketing uh, messaging strategy that some of our teammates, you know, have been uh, have been asking me about it for uh, for a couple of days now, and I haven't been able to uh, to do it. But um, as you can see right now, I'm on Facebook right here, and I'm going to share with you basically how to uh, how to invite people. Uh, so you can share uh, either your product, your service, your opportunities, and how to find people on Facebook that have to do, uh, you know, with uh, with your with your niche. You know, basically people that are interested in whatever it is that you uh, have to market or whatever you have to offer. Okay, so the as you guys can see right here is uh, you know the Facebook. This is just my normal Facebook uh, Facebook page, and right here on the search bar you can pretty much uh, look for anybody like. Uh, let's say, for example, we are in the travel industry. We have a travel uh, business, you know. Um, so what we will look for is people that like to travel or that would like to travel, or people that think that they can't afford to travel. Um, so you know, this is these are people that you know either uh, you know uh, are going to uh, you know want to do it or are going to do it. Um, you know, again, uh, you know, people that travel all over the world. So uh, we will look for people uh, that like to go to Disneyland or people who like to go to Mexico or, you know, places, you know, let's think about places, uh, tourism, tur you know, tourism places uh, where people like to go. Like, for example, you know, people uh, who like uh, Disneyland. Uh, so we we'll just put Disney here. And as you can see, there is 47 million people that actually have liked, uh, you know, Disney. Um, so if you can actually click on that, uh, you're going to see a bunch or a huge amount of people that actually like uh, Disneyland. Now, this, you know, is usually going to show you first, uh, you know, your, your friends, the people that are actually connected with you on Facebook or the people that are connected with your friends on Facebook. So all these people right here... Uh, you know, are people that I do have mutual friends with, as you can see right here, mutual friends. And you, right here, you can see people that I'm actually friends with on Facebook. So it's going to show me uh, people that I'm actually friends with. And then after, it's going to show me people uh, that I have, uh, you know, that people that my friends are, you know, with, basically, you know, people that, um, you know, are in the organization, you could say, in the whole, the whole, um, the whole group over here right so it's gonna show you mutual friends and if you keep keep scrolling down all the way down then it's gonna uh, start you know getting rid of you know mutual friends and then it's just gonna jump into uh, people that um, that are not your friends anymore right here uh, and so these are people you know like basically call uh, you, you're basically gonna be called uh, messaging people and uh, I'm gonna share with you some of the uh, messages that I have sent uh, to basically just random people. Now, if you want to, uh, if you want to, you know, you can do that. People who like Disney, uh, you can go. People who like, uh, let's say, Cabo. Let's see if they have Cabo San Lucas. Cabo uh, San. You see, people who like Cabo San Lucas, Baja California. That's in Mexico. You know, everybody knows about Cabo. So you could click on there, um, and <laughs> there's Ray Higdon, uh, and you could see, uh, you know, people that actually like you know to go to Cavill or um, it, let's say you are into the um, I don't know the coffee the coffee industry people who like co how do you spell coffee 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 so there is you know three million people there I mean you can get really specific about searching people um, you know that like stuff like this <laughs> you know here's Ashley hey Hey Emily, what's going on? Uh, but there is people, you know, that you know, all the people that you're going to be targeting here are people that you can, uh, you know, that are basically looking or that like whatever it is that you got. So, uh, coffee, you can, uh, if you want to do, uh, you you can get really specific about this. That live, if you want to target your area, that live in uh, Anchorage, Alaska, like myself, I live in Alaska. Uh, and it says that there is a hundred and three thousand people here, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I don't know how. I guess everybody loves coffee here in Alaska. I mean, why wouldn't they, right? Uh, but <laughs> so, so, so as you can see, there is, you know, uh, right here, you know, you have, you first they'll show you people that you're really connected with, the people that you have uh, mutual friends with, and then after that, it's going down. 
to people that you have absolutely no idea who they are you can just start messaging so um, you get the idea you can pretty much search for whatever is that you want and if you are in a travel industry you know make sure uh, to target um, places that people actually like to go to so uh, you know I put an example Disneyland uh, Cabo San Lucas you could do P Paris um, anywhere Greece re I mean think about you know tourism places where you or where people would like to go to I, I can even put people uh, that like uh, Guatemala or what is a good city over there in Guatemala I don't even know I'm from Guatemala I don't even know uh, Panajachel let's try that Pana, probably nothing Pana, uh, chill. I don't even know how to spell it to be honest. Oh, here, look. Uh, people that live in Panajachel, Solola, that's where, you know, one of the places that people like to go, you know, and see over in Guatemala. Um, so there is, you know, it, uh, as, as I said, you know, I mean, get, um, you know, get ideas. Get Think about places where you will want to go or where people will want to travel to all over the world. Okay, so. Um, let's do um, people who like Cabo, Cabo San Lucas. Let's do that for now, okay? Um, so you can see right here, ninety-one thousand people. Maybe if the like that live, let's see if it works. That live in Anchorage. Oh, there's nobody here. Apparently, nobody loves. Let's see. People who like Cabo San Lucas that live. Well, let's do this first. Cabo San Lucas that live in Anchorage, Alaska. Now, I don't know why it's showing me 103,000 people because I doubt there's 100, or maybe everybody loves uh, Cabo San Lucas. I don't know. You know, <laughs> it's funny because it only shows me 99,000. But but you get the idea though, right? I mean, you know, look for for uh, for people, you know, for places like that. And if you want to target your own city, go for it. People who like to travel, people who live in Anchorage, Alaska, uh, who like to travel. Oops, who like to travel? Who like to. Who like Barley High School? That's where the high school that I went to. Uh, but you see, people who live in Alaska and who go to my lead system, bro. You know stuff like that. So there is a huge. I mean, there is huge. Um, you know, amount of different searches that you know Facebook gives you to uh, for you to be able to uh, you know message them. Okay, so I'm gonna do this right here. Uh, let's look for someone that I will think. I'm pretty sure I have actually. Um, message a lot of these people right here I don't remember messaging any of these persons now what happens here is that you go uh, look at this guy sandwich man alright so you go and send them a message right now when you have a mutual friend with this person that you're gonna send a message to you're gonna see uh, you know this this little box right here is it says uh, it's it's white It doesn't say anything, but when you don't have any mutual friends Let's see if I can find one over here um, It's going to tell you that your message is going to go to their other folder So the more people uh, that they know and, and the people that you're going to uh, you know message is you know the better because their message would actually go to their inbox instead of going to the other person. So, uh, if they, if you don't have any uh, mutual friends or anything at all, you know, with these people, uh, their message is gonna go to, uh, you know, to the other folder. Okay, like right here, this one will go to their inbox specifically, and it's way better when when the message message actually goes to their inbox because you know people actually reply back right away or they ignore you right away well, which whichever one works uh, but when it goes to the other you know other folder you know nobody really looks at the other folders and every time usually every time you know you have a message on your other folder that just means it's like a, you know um, just doesn't look good okay just it looks like uh, pure spam um, but um, so anyways let's uh, look at this let's try this no, this guy is gonna go. I don't know why. I 
All right, let's uh, let's find someone to uh, message. How about all these guys? Look at all these guys. They all live in Anchorage, Alaska. Let's make sure it's this guy. His name is Christopher. Um, and now I already have you know pre-written messages. Now is that a good thing? Maybe not. Is it? Is it? Can I do it better? Probably. Uh, but I have already you know sent so many messages around that I pretty much made my own message and just add their their name to it. Now I was doing this. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. let's look for this one. So this one says, take a look at this. Hey, Marisa. Actually, you know what? Let me uh copy this over here. See, it's, that way you can see it better. Let me copy it, and let's use it over here on the message. Then we can just pre-read it before we actually send it. Okay. So let's see what it says. <clears throat> of course, you wanna get rid of that name first because you don't wanna be that guy that sends a message to the wrong person i mean the wrong name they'll be like what the hell uh so he says how are you doing just noticed you here on facebook and i see uh we share similar interests and you probably love to travel as well now i was targeting these people uh i was starting these the people that i was messaging right here are people um you know that like a certain fan page or like this thing that you know that I actually have to uh, have to do with traveling uh, so I was you know I share similar interests and you probably love to travel as well which is you know true because they like you know they either like this thing they like Cabo San Lucas so they do like to travel so they're like okay when they're reading the message it makes sense okay and then uh, so it says just notice you here on Facebook and I see that you share uh, similar interests and you probably love to travel as well so I said reach out I hope you don't mind and then I went and said this listen I got a travel business that is expanding rapidly uh, and I'm looking for feedback and honest opinions from people about it. Uh, if you, if I gave you a link to a website with a short and complete presentation, will you check it out? Now I got this line from uh, Eric Worre's book. If you guys haven't still read that book, uh, I totally recommend it. Uh, GoPro by Eric Worre. Uh, so in one of the in one of the chapters, he gives you examples of what you can actually use uh, when you are you know prospecting cold market. And this line right here. Uh, is one of them for the simple fact that you are not begging uh, you are telling them that you're gonna do something for them if they do something for you uh, and you basically you know keeping your posture when it comes to sharing the uh, you know the opportunity the, the 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 link itself okay so and then uh, at the end I says anyways I'm just looking to expand my network and create some new friends over here on Facebook uh, hit me back or send me a friend request when you see this message and let's connect my name uh, and then what in the world chat conversation and well that doesn't supposed to be there and then your name that's it all right uh, it, let's connect and then you could type type something like uh, tag soon uh, tag soon your name boom that's it so that is something that I was doing and I was actually messaging about 20 I'll say 20 to at the beginning I started and I was messaging 25 plus people and only like two or three people were actually um, responding to me and that is for the simple fact that I was actually including this line right here you see most people actually don't want to be pitched you know when you uh, when you actually you know message uh, someone they don't you know they don't want to be seeing something uh, you know that has to do with the business or whatever it's just like having a conversation on uh, and then I realized that it's just like having a conversation you know, in person like you wouldn't just go to a person and be like hey guess what I have a you know if you just met and you you can't just go there and say hey how are you doing? how are you doing blah 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 you know a little conversation then right away be like hey guess what I have a business uh, uh, bi uh, you know a travel business that I'm working on you want to check it out you know what I mean? And people be like, what, you know, what, what is this guy? You know what I mean? Uh, so, I mean, so for that reason, I took this out and I'm going to share with you exactly uh, what I'm saying now that the other day I was actually testing it out and I was, I messaged 12 people and out of those 12 people, I got um, five people to respond to me. Three of them actually sent me a friend request. So, I got friend requests from these people, um, you know, and messages back. So out of 12, five of them responded. So it's way better when you don't include n something that has to do with, uh, with, you know, with your business at all at the beginning. Okay, you can definitely, you know, work on, uh, on, you know, going into it uh, right after. But uh, 
but other than that, I mean, it's just uh, it's just that. Okay, so let me uh, right here. What is this? See, this is a totally different message. Okay, let me copy this, and this training is actually this video is actually getting very 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 uh, long. So I hope you guys don't mind that. So let me uh, let me just send you this. Let me just you know guide you through what I what I send right now that is actually giving me people to uh, um, to you can just copy and paste this just make sure you um, take out the uh, their names okay now can you get really uh, really specific and really personal with it yes of course you can definitely go into their page into the people's page that you're trying to message and you know see what they're into maybe they have some pictures you know uh, tell them hey what's up you know I see that you got a family that's cool I got two kids as well how are you doing you know just simple like that so right here I'm just gonna go hey Christopher um, Christopher uh, how are you doing? I noticed you uh, here on Facebook, and I see we have some mutual friends because we do, as you can see, mutual friends, Tim Johnson, uh, and similar interest, which is you know the travel, of course. That I found you in travel, so definitely we have in, uh, similar interests. And so I decided to reach out. Okay, I hope you don't mind. Anyways, I'm just trying to expand my network here on Facebook and get some more friends. Hit me back when you see this message or send me a friend request. As you can see, it's basically the same thing, but what I just cut out was the uh, the travel business part. And when you do that, when I did that, actually, you know, I got more response from people, uh, you know, message, messaging me back and getting friend requests from me, okay? So that is what I got for you guys. I'm, let me send this out, and uh, I hope uh, this answers some of the questions that, you know, you had, and I hope it helps you with, uh, your Facebook marketing career, all right? And other than that, my name is Jonathan Aguilar. Go crush it. I'll talk to you later, all right? Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.